Hi, welcome to Very Spatial TV. This is Frank from Very Spatial. Now, uh, you may not be familiar with the face you're seeing, but you've probably heard them for the last mm, 14 or so years. This is Jesse from Very Spatial. Oh, hey. Uh, Jesse, of course, has been uh, the initial start of Very Spatial, the seed plant uh, we, from we, which it we, grew. We might be able to actually blame that on Sue. Sue bugged me via text message or instant message. Wow, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, one day. So we, we might be able to blame it on her. Okay. Well, certainly he was the water that came shortly thereafter. Yeah, I, 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 I'm the technical guy. Right, right. Um, I'm, I'm still in your, your show, your first episode, I guess. Yes. By saying, let's, let's talk a little bit about what we think is awesome about geography. Oh, let's see. I don't know if the listeners have that much time on their hands. Well, but I, I think we I need think, to be succinct. You know, yeah, we can be succinct. So obviously we are very spatial. So we think that spatial things matter that much, a lot. Um, and one of the great things about geography is everything takes place somewhere. And if it takes place somewhere, you can use geography to analyze it. So we can say there are aspatial things. We don't want to let people no. think that, you know, we don't think that there are aspatial. But in our world, clearly we, we don't care about those things as no. much. No, only, only insofar as they help us inform spatial things, you know, which is just a little bit. But, you know, spatial is, is the most important bit for yeah. us. Yeah. So, I think the technology, we can both point to that as being kind of our entree. So the cool thing about technology in, in the geospatial, and I think this is something that uh, a lot of people miss, particularly when they come into, say, an undergraduate program when they're younger, and, and, and older people may not have been exposed to it this way when they were learning what's the capital of Estonia or something like mm -hmm. that, is that uh, the technology is very applied in the case of geography, but the geographic principles are also very applied in the case of technology. It's a nice overlap and a Venn diagram, if you will. The middle part is, what are you gonna do with it? Questions, and I, I think that's very exciting for both of us that we can apply our geographic concepts and knowledge and the tools that, and toys that we get to play with. Yeah, I think even though we came in as, as geographers, the fact that we both came in from different directions, you're degrees, computer science, political science, mm -hmm. mine, anthropology, archaeology, um, just shows the breadth of what geography touches on. So it's the significant interdisciplinarity, multidisciplinarity, whatever you want to call it, uh, of the whole geography aspect, theory, and everything else that really makes it awesome as well. Yeah, I think that the fact that you can literally pull in anything, I, I struggle to think of a single discipline or area of study that you can't pull into the geography. I'm sure there's one, but uh, nothing that I've really thought much about. Uh, so whatever it is you want to do, you can do it in a geographic concept, context, yeah. I should say, which is which is kind of cool. There's not a lot of disciplines like that. There are a few, but not a lot. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about how history and anthropology, but again, these are things that are, are oftentimes humanistic, um, and that's what really makes all of our disciplines really important is the fact how they apply to us as, as human beings, whether we're talking about the biology, physics, um, and the true traditional humanistic disciplines. You know, how do we take this information, this data a lot of times, and apply it to us? And spatially is one of the easiest ways, uh, for us at least, to be able to do that and to share this information. The other kind of cool thing about geography for me is that uh, nobody really uh, gets what you do, but they also don't kind of question what you do, all right? So the thing is, is that if you say, I'm a geographer, they go, oh yeah, you know the capital of whatever, what's the longest river in, in Europe, or whatever it may be, which I don't think either of us knows those sort of things. Um, is it the Rhine? I don't Danube? know, I, I don't know, things. and I really don't care. As you're fond of saying, no, I'm not that type of geographer. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, people are very familiar with things that we do. They use navigation all the time. They use Google Maps all the time. They use location-based services all the time. And when you start talking about those things and say, what do you do? And I often say, I work in GIS. And they say, what's GIS? And I say, that's basically, you know, like Google Maps, kind of like that. And immediately people understand the sort of scope of what it is you're engaged in doing. So if I were to say I'm a dendrochronologist, people would look at me like, I had seven heads because nobody knows what that is. <laughs> but it's still geography. It is geography, but the, it is, for me, exciting to ha talk about something that people can relate to. That they can say, oh, I get it. I, no matter what their walk of life, no matter what their discipline, they say, oh yeah, I understand that. I can connect to it at some level. And it's nice for, you know, parties. You can have a good conversation. As long as they don't ask you the capital of uh, the biggest, largest capital in South America. 
I don't know either. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not Brasilia. But yeah, we, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, what's the capital of Argentina? I'm going to guess it's that one. Probably. Oh, no, maybe not. We'll figure it out. We'll yeah. go Google it later. Um, but now that I've hijacked your first episode, hijacked? I think I said that. Um, well, you know, in fairness, I hijacked your, what, fourth podcast? So, <laughs> Fourth, six, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's just kind of, you know, important to talk about why we think geography as a discipline is important. And these are the reasons it's important to us, but maybe the viewers would like to add some comments. Yes, please. So the great thing about YouTube is you can add comments. So, you know, down below, go ahead and add the comments in as you wish. Uh, uh, we will address anything that you bring up, uh, particularly if you want to point out how little about geography apparently either of us know, but, <laughs> you know, place names and things like that. But uh, if you have any ideas for future episodes, please put them in the comments. Uh, we're always looking for new stuff. Uh, Barbara and uh, uh, I will be doing some of the video. I'm sure Jesse and Sue will be doing something at their end uh, mm -hmm. here and there. So uh, put any comments or ideas you have down in the links below. And of course, if you would like to find out more about this venture, you should email Frank. Right. Or you can, you know, hit very spatial, which we'll put the link here. I'm guessing if I learn how to do. I that. think it's it's up there. We could do it up here. It'll be. Yeah, I think yeah. I think they, they got rid of the cards. So okay, it's the so little, up there, yeah, there'll the right be a link corner. up there, very spatial, and you can listen to the podcast if you don't want to see faces. Oh, that's true. That's the right, not that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it'll uh, be. This is new. It'll be up so. there. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a very special day. <laughs>